Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. This is a part uh, 13 of our Let's Play, and I thought we'd start today with some Summoner's Court. So let's uh, go and talk to Leander once court. again. Back for more, eh? Ready then? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. And I've Summoner's decided court. I am going to beat him today. Ever-changing game. Akio. We make some mistake to start off with. All in the wrist. Rather nice. Accio. Too much. Oh. Didn't think Might you need were a match for me. Accio. Might need a couple of goals. Right. Now I think. Try to beat that. I think we can hit this one and knock it into. Hmm. Knock it into yeah. the 50, apparently. Lucky shot. Akio. Nothing to it. I'm going to have to try and hit off this one thin. Akio. Didn't quite work. Right, let's try again. Incendio. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Can we jump down here? No. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna hit that, is he? Oof. All in the wrist. Akio. That was one for the ages. That'll do. Oh. Okay, so he's made a mistake. Try to beat that. That's all right. You're not bad at this. I hear. So we're ahead at the moment. Although he's going to knock ours off, is he? Oh, he's going to knock it into the fifty. Nothing to oh, it. Oh, that's close. Right. Surely, if we bring this one towards his, not bad. I think not we've bad. won. Well done. You beat me. Hey, very good. That was good. Bit of good luck. That's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practising and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Okay. Cool. Right, that's that one done. Uh, right. So, Kagawa had a side quest. So, let's do that one. So, we got to pop the balloons over Hogsmeade Station and then the ones over the, the Quidditch. So, let's head on our way. Aha. So, that's what these balloons are then. I'm glad I finally know. <laughs> right. Hey. Okay. So there are more. Oh. 
with some more Hogsmeade Station as well. Be nice to, to head over that part of the world towards the viaduct. We haven't really been there, have we? Is there any up high? Rebellion. Where are the balloons? Aha. Nice. When is the last one? <clears throat> that. Okay. Nice. Job done. Okay, let's head over to Hogsmeade. Revelio. It is cool that a Revelio cast so far from up here on your broom. It's a side quest over here. Down at the boathouse, by the looks of it. Shall we go and see what what it is? Is it that person there? Why did I never learn how to swim? Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people. Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we dueled in the Crossed Ones Club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. Okay. What is it about the Mer people that interests you so much? Oh, I can't begin to tell you how brilliant they are. I mean, rumour is that tales about them have infiltrated even the Muggle world. The oldest known Mer people, Sirens, come from Greece. And of course, Scotland has Selkies and Ireland is home to Merrows. I could go on for ages about them. Their glorious underwater communities, domestication of sea life, their art and music. It's a travesty how little is understood about them. What do you imagine a liaison to the Mer people would do? Oh, so many things. I want to know everything I can about them. After I've mastered swimming, I perfect my Mermish, of course. And I'd share with them anything they wanted to know about Wizardkind. My hope is that by understanding each other better, both of our societies could grow. How has Wizardkind fallen short in its treatment of Mer people? Well, we've consistently deigned Mer people as being beneath us despite the many similarities between our cultures. One can hardly blame them for declining being status by the Ministry years ago. Who are we to classify those of such beauty and intelligence? Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you! The last thing I want is for them to think I'd shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. Okay. Should we do that? I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. Can we dismount over here? 
Yes. Oh, we can... Oh, that's great. Okay. Ooh, this looks a bit... Uh, bizarre. Let's dive in. Oh, wow. Look at this place. Did the Mer people really leave Narada an artifact? Is that a moth? Lumos. Incendio. Luke. Now then, I'll need you to come with me. I'm guessing these moths must go somewhere. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Nothing like uh, solving a puzzle before you've been required to. Now for the rest of you. Okay. <clears throat> That's two down. And one more. I feel like we're going to be in some sort of battle here. What do we have in here then? No. Narada will be happy about this. Is that it? Okay. Let's head back up. I love how you can just pop out of the water and onto your broom. Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news! I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. <laughs> I've decided to keep it. There you go. And I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. Merlin's beard. It's marvellous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including the Ministry. Should I hand deliver or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. I can't wait to study this. Okay. Right. What are you up to now? So we were heading over to Hogsmeade Station, weren't we? So let's go and do that. It's so good now that we can broom about. Rebellion. Oh, there's a Merlin's How would you bit like to here. learn the knockback jigs flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Should we do a quick Merlin trial? Yeah, I'm guessing that we're gonna have to put these in order, aren't we? So do we need Wingardium Leviosa? Wingardium Leviosa. No? Is that it? The best of me. Oh. 
Hang on. Should we use Defindo? And... What's the other one? Confrindo. Confrindo! Defindo! Incendio. Too far away. Right. Okay, I think that's Hogsmeade Station up here, isn't it? Nice. Let's have a little explore up here. What? Why couldn't I land here? Surely I can land here. What? This is preposterous. Why can't I land here? No? Okay. We won't explore then. Let's keep going. It's three down. Any more around here? Revelio. Aha. One more over here. Nice. I don't know why it's not letting me land. What about on the bridge? Right, so I suppose <clears throat> we will go and track Kagawa's thing. Return to Madame Kog Kagawa. Let's go and learn the freezing German thing it was, wasn't it? Where is she? There. Here we go then. Is this going to be her office? Rebellion. Hey. those tasks okay. Imelda Reyes <laughs> Ooh, that's got a lock on it Anything else in here? Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned Wonderful! I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your Ooh. wand work. Awesome. It's a yellow one. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. 
There you go. Catching one quickly. Defender. Wow. Incendio. Akio. Glacier. I think it's learned its lesson. But do continue to practice as long as you like. Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool. Defender. Incendio. Very nice. Right. There's that one done then. Okay, so we have got another one for Professor Garlic. How do we get... Uh, grow and Harvest Fluxweed? So, we might have to head back to Hogsmeade. And go to what was a brood and peck? Is it? Was it there? Or was it? No, it's this one, isn't it? Um, dogweed and yeah, yeah, cool. Meet, here I come. Secret is do the hard work. Rebellion. Accio. Okay, let's keep going then. Up here we go. Up here, wasn't it? There you go. Just because you know Lumos doesn't mean you can't get lost. Uh. Hope you're not here for a knot grass frig, because I'm not entirely sure I have them in stock. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? What's it? Oh no, we don't. We can't. Ah, what? No fertilizer. Hmm. Maybe it'll be at the other guy then. Um. Yeah, let's maybe sell some stuff. Sell that. But your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. Okay, and we do need to go back to the room of Doors requirement, don't open. we? You be sure to stop by soon. Yeah. So fluxweed. Yeah, where are we gonna grow and harvest? So I might have to go to the the magic neep. Oh, was it the magic neep? Is that it? Yeah. Let's see if he's got any. See fluxweed say seeds for sale. Right. Revelio. I'm told that last Clement. Hello, be with you in a bit. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Aha, Fluxweed. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Right. Okay. So now we need to... Probably head to the room of requirement, but uh, let's just double check. Um... No, I collect troll bogies. So I'm going to collect that. Uh, does it actually have a location on it anyway? <clears throat> I 
don't think so. So could it be a, like a Hamlet vendor, maybe? Yeah, we can we can go there, can't we? Up at Hogsfield. We can go and ask Miss Beaumont. Could be a portion ingredient. Another adventure, are we? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Let's see. You've made up a Hogsfield safer, and for that, I thank you. No, Spider Fang Stench of the Dead. Okay. Thank you for passing through. Pippins? Perhaps? Might be wrong though. Might not even be a portion ingredient. I don't know who Sometimes else. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Right. Let's have a look then. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lowing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Let's see. Troll bogies, there you go. Collect that. A wise decision. Thank you. Cast a pulse on a levitated enemy. Okay, so let's uh, get the pulse maybe on there for that. And then. Uh, Where's Hogsmeade Station in all of this? Because we can head towards there. It's around here, wasn't it? That's Hogsmeade Station. So yeah, let's head to Hogsmeade Station. I'm sure we'll see an enemy on the way. We can levitate and yeah, so we're gonna need levy also as well. That's fine. Okay. Cool. There's bound to be somebody around here, isn't Rebellion. there? Rebellion. There's the steps. Let's head up. If not, we'll head up on our broom and... Rebellion. Nice. Hogsmeade Station ticket office. The station has stood here since the early 1800s when Minister for Magic Otterline Gamble acquine, acquired a steam engine train to transport students to Hogwarts. Cool. Can we climb over there now? It won't be wasting our time, and I'm grateful. Okay. Not sure what's up there. Should we find out? No, you can't enter that mount while mounted. Interesting. Rebellion. Down here. Rebellion. Uh, 
And they ah, spiders. We can deal with them. Let me go. So we've got divination class. Nice. There's a victory that came on too soon. Ugh. So let's um fast travel to divination class. My young friend. I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Okay, we're nearly there with all of the spells, aren't we? Okay. Okay. So knowledgeable. I'll be unrivaled at the next course. Duncan owes his reputation to you. I hope his assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor and I. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now. As you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy, and that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I for one see great things. Channel your magic towards your target. Okay, Descendo. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the tree, Indoni? Descendo, excellent. I think also. At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills. All right, 
outside of the factory. It's sending. Nice, right. Okay, let's uh, head to the room of requirement because we need to go and grow our flux weed anyway. Is that it there? Yep, let's head. And we can maybe brew some potions, that sort of thing. Okay, so we've got enough for Wigan Weld. Got enough for Felix Felicis as well. Uh, yeah, we don't need that. So let's get another Wigan Weld going. <clears throat> let's head to our planter. Uh, and we want to go for Fluxweed. Oh, we need a, a large pot. How does one do that? Do we need to conjure it up? Ah, we need to purchase it. I think. That's with three small pots. Ah, large potting tables. Okay. So we need to head to Tomes and Scrolls. But we might as well go to the desk reader as well. Alright, nice. Alright, let's see what what we've got in terms of gear. So like where we're fine. What's the Quidditch one? The Quidditch one's pretty good. So Ooh, that's even better. Yeah, that's gonna be what we have, I think. We'll sell the other ones, although the Quidditch one is pretty awesome. Might have to keep the Quidditch one anyway. Um, then Facewear. Still that mask is the best. You can get rid of everything else. Headwear. Okay, classic source for a hat. Outfit wise. Might as well wear that. Okay. Cool. I mean, we can take that robe off, can't we? And we can walk around like so. But we like the robes. Right, let's head over to Hogsmeade again. And then we'll head on with the next main quest, I think. Which one do we want to do? The Caretaker's Loon Element. Maybe we'll do that one. Um, looks like we're going to learn how to open doors, which is very useful. Where's Tomes and Scrolls? Right at the bottom, isn't it? So we'll head there. We'll sell them some stuff as well. Fingers crossed we should. Any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Revelio. Should be in a position where we can... by the large pot. Right, here we go. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Right, so um let's sell our stuff first. So we want to keep that one. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Keep the sorceress hat. Keep. Which one's better? Oh, the other one. Okay. Keep the Quidditch cape. Don't need those glasses. Right. 
There's the large pot. Oh, what? 3,000. It does not seem like you have enough. Let me know if there's anything um, else I can... Rebellion. Yeah, he's got a... one of those... One of those chests with the eyes in. So we can get 500 from him. Right. Rebellion. There's got to be another one around here somewhere. Enough for that now, though, which is good. I think there's one up there. Whereabouts was it? Not on the way up there. Ah! Down here, under the bridge. Cool! Yeah, this is the quick way to earn money, isn't it? Goodness me. So that's another one up here. Definitely going to have to do some more exploring at some point, aren't we? There we go. Right, that should be enough now to keep us going. So we'll head back to Tomes and Scrolls, get that two-pot plant pot, and then head back to the Room of Requirement, plant those, grab our Wigan Weld, go and see Mr. Moon. Right. Like yours. So we want this one. Yeah. Potting table with two large pots. Nothing there we like go. Finding just the right thing, is there? Nice. Right, room of requirement. Tell you what, it's um <laughs> it is interesting, isn't it? Alright, so um, we can plant some didney here, why not? So no need to really worry about that. Um, yeah, I'm going to put our pot and table over here. I can see why you would want extra spell sets now. Okay, potting. Large. Uh, how big is this thing? There you go. Okay. Okay, so we can put Luxweed in this one now. Might as well get a couple. Nice. Right, uh, let's grab our Wigan Weld. I think. Oh no, we do have enough actually. Yeah. Um, 
we'll grab this one and then set another one off and head off to Mr. Moon. Okay. Is it this one here? Yeah. It seems to be a... Well, we don't... Okay, let's head out the common room this way then. Set a waypoint. We haven't actually been in this common room for a while, have we? Can we talk to the portrait again or not? Well, he's not there, I don't think. Huh, ah, interesting. Right, let's head out. We haven't been here for ages, have we? Ah. Now where is this? Ah, it's the kitchens, I think. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Awesome. Is that one of the... Oh. Rebellion. Ah, there we go. I thought there must be a Revelio spot. Kitchen tables. So they must be directly under the Great Hall. Very good. Okay, let's head up then. these out now, don't we? But uh, handy resource we'll do indeed. That another Your time. Rebellion. What's our detect? in the great oh where's that the dallying key going this way yeah ah nice Come on. Nice. There's another coin. Or token. What's up here? Revelio. Incendio. Okay. Revelio. Going. Is 
So it was another moth thing. You can't imagine This has turned into a bit of an exploration episode, isn't it? Yeah, we know where that is straight away, don't we? There it is. Lumos. I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Where do you find time for this and your homework? I've plenty of time for both, been managing for years. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on Potion's class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Okay. I don't know, Gareth. Secret passage to a cellar. Sounds like it's off-limits. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'd rather not, but uh, hey. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Okay. Right, so let's I'll keep heading to towards Moon. To Gareth, if he's to finish his latest concoction. Oh, hang on. No, we wanna head this way. Which is still this way. Which statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh-huh. Rebellion. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! And uh, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Humoring me for a moment. See if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? 
<laughs> yes! Terrifying creature that can see. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigoises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and idiot as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. <laughs> In fact, I know two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them, so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? <laughs> Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Ah, tosh. I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh. Thank you. Ah, so it's seen. Ah. It seems where we can now unlock doors, which is rather good. So where's the unlocking charm? I don't actually think it's one of them, is it? Okay. Hang on. Hello, Amora. Ah. Move the sparks and rotate the dials until the corresponding gears. Huh? Okay. Uh, what have we got to do here? Ah, okay. There you go. Okay. Took a bit of work now. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so that the old cat's eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the car. Hello, Amora. Okay. So we needed to There we 
go. Mirabel. Let's keep going. That's a level two lock. Professor Fig. Interesting. So are we in the professor's quarters? Might as well go and get the Dedalian key while we're here. That's it. Nice. Okay. Generation of coddle cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between That's Professor Sharp and Professor Weasley. Interesting. Okay. Nice. Revenue. Perfect bathroom. Okay, there's one of those. Let's 
Oh no. That was a mistake. Time to to run back. What what did we have to do? Return to Gladwell. Gladwin. Oh no. We are so dead. Oh, I suppose I should pay closer attention in the next match. Right. I think we're okay. And of course we've got Sharp and Weasley down here to think about. Looks like they've moved. Should we go in here? Oh, it's a level 3 lock. We can't go in there. And out we go. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as an oat! An excellent start! Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. Brilliant. Okay. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Brilliant. I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. 
Well, okay, another main quest finished. And, uh, oh, nearly a 20 there. That was close. But yeah, that was fun, going into the restricted area. I'm assuming we can just go in now. But yeah, that was that was very cool. Yeah, we couldn't get in there. That's fine. Okay, brilliant. Right, that's where we'll leave it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Hogwarts Legacy videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.